Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Have you noticed some crackling in your videos lately? I've noticed that mine, just before I load them up, there's crackling and I can cut them out if I've made a break in my voice. But I've noticed that others have crackling too. And I was mentioning that to Jim, and he said it might be sunspots. Or solar radiation. And I um, asked him, well, what is that? <laughs> Well, it's electric mechanical radiation from uh, the sun it bombards our environment and causes disruption in communications and electronics. Hmm. Well, we're hearing the crackling, and I'm hearing the crackling in other people's videos, too, because I thought it was just mine. And I thought it was maybe my mic was going bad, but apparently it's not. It's just something in the atmosphere. I also have to tell you, I put Emma and silver in chicken jail. Yeah, there is such a chicken thing. Chicken jail. Chicken jail. I had taken silver out of the box and put her outside to try to see if she would stay out of the box. And Emma, I put gloves on to move her. Boy, she's a big bird. She's a really heavy bird. She's probably a good four pounds, I would imagine, or more. Where, where silver is a very light little bird. She's probably like two pounds. But I had to put gloves on to move Emma because Emma snaps at me and bites at me. And I think they both want to go broody. And it is not the time of the year for them to go broody. My water would not stay thawed, I think, if, if they tried. Because to, this morning we were, we were ice covered. We had beautiful sunshine yesterday and ice covered today. But then the temperature did warm up and it did get better outside. But it's very gloomy out. It's not a pretty day. I also called Jessica and told her that she should make pasta carbonara or something because she needs to use up some eggs so I can give her a bunch of eggs tomorrow when she comes with the kids. I got 17 eggs today. I got 14 yesterday, I think it was I got yesterday, something like that. Something like that. And I got 17 today. That means only four of my hens didn't lay, lay eggs and two of them was Emma and... and um, Silver. S Silver, yeah. I wanted to say Sarah for me. I don't have a hen named Sarah, but maybe I will someday. Um, I also wanted to talk about jobs. And what brought this to mind was somebody had mentioned that they bought chewing gum. It was double mint gum, and that kind of made me think of that the jingles are no longer being made. People are not making a job. There's no jobs with jingles where they used to have a jingle. Now they're using songs that were of the 70s and 80s for the advertisements, which... They're changing the words, and it's making it hard for me to even remember what the words are supposed to be. But the jobs that I that I found, this ought to be fun. This is kind of fun in a way. The jobs that no longer exist are, one of them is the town crier. And if you, do you remember what the town crier was? He was one that would ring a bell, and he would tell, he would sing out the news, or he would tell you the news of the day. So you, though a lot time. of people... Pardon me? Or the time of the day. Yeah. He, he People couldn't read, so he was really an information. He would travel from town to town, and he would he would tell you the news. And so that's one of them, the town crier. The next one's a funny name. <laughs> In fact, it's <laughs> kind of bad sounding because today you would think it up something different. It's called the knocker-upper. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. You want to know what a knocker-upper is? It's not what you're thinking. It's somebody that would knock on your windows to wake you up. And you know what spoiled that? The alarm clock. Yeah, everybody's got an alarm clock, so you don't need somebody knocking on your window to wake you up. And that was a lot of that was done in England and Ireland. The um, Another job that's no longer there is the elector. And the elector was someone that would sit at your plant where you were working, and they would read to you the newspaper, they'd read books, they'd read anything and everything. You used to have to pay them to sit there and read all day, and you know what ruined that? The radio. That's what took that job away. Then there were elevator operators. That When you stepped into an elevator, there was always somebody there to attend the elevator to take you to your floor and to open and close the doors and help you so that you didn't trip on the... and, and Entering or exiting of the elevator, and you know what ruined that? The automatic elevators that they have now. They don't need el they don't need elevator operators. 
Also, the switchboard operator is no longer a thing. That, I remember calling the operator. Operator, can you tell me what time it is? <laughs> I called her on many a time. I'm sure she got a lot of calls from a lot of kids. It was kind of fun to call the operator. You dialed zero, and you got the operator. Of course, kids today don't know a dial. Dial, dial. You had to turn. And we and if we just polished our nails, we'd use a pencil because you didn't want to mess your nail up, stick it in the little hole to do the dial. I just thought of another one. A receptionist it answers calls for businesses. Yeah, they Most don't. businesses now have gone to automated answering. phone answering, and you have to listen through all their messages before you can get to a human. Oh, yeah, that's true. We can't just call and say what you want to talk about. It says push one for this person, push two for that person, and then they put it another one, and then you're on hold forever in a day. Well, you want to know what... Um, let's see, I was sorry, on the... I lost I was, your that's train. Right, I was on the operator. Yep. What, what killed her job was the automatic dialing and extensions. We can get there ourselves. We don't need them to assist us. Mm -hmm. So that killed that job. Computer... That was a human person that could answer questions like that. They were they were really smart, and they would um, answer complex questions. They were very very bright. You want to know what killed them? A computer <laughs> killed the computer. Electronic computer, electronic computer killed the, the human computer. Then there's the pinball. Pin setter. setter or pin setter. That's right, the mm -hmm. pin setter the, at the bowling alley. They would. Um, be down there and they would um, set up the pins so that you could bowl again and that's that was ruined by the automatic pin setter and the way that came out of s where you couldn't have the it used to be a young kid down there that was the labor law that kind of destroyed that they didn't want kids doing that anymore and the last one that I have that is no longer anymore is a milkman. But then there, again, there might be a milkman somewhere. But the major I remember the neighbor having the milk delivered. They had a, a metal box outside their front door, and there would be four bottles in there, four quarts. We used to. When I was a kid, we did had you? We milk never did. We had a cow. <laughs> so we didn't have to. But um, they that stopped because people got refrigerators and they could store their milk and they got cars and it was easier for them to go and get their own milk. So that kind of came to an end also. That's my video. I hope you enjoyed all this reminiscing of the jobs that no longer exist. And how many of you have called the operator to ask the time? That's something that I always did. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.